I'm back at Scug Reservation in Andover where I was in September 20th or so and now I'm aiming to cover the next section you can see all the color everywhere jeez And as you can also see, the Bay Circuit Trailhead goes through the Hammond Reservation right here. More stunning charm. <laughs> Poor hand over it exudes the stuff. <laughs> and this way will eventually take you all the way to Newburyport. That's our northerly run. You go through Harold Parker first. <clears throat> and this eventually will take you all the way to Duxbury. Quite a ways lot further than Sharon where I was the other day. I've been through this reservation before, but it was a few years ago. <coughs> And of course, I've been to Charles Ward, which is the sort of high point of today's little excursion, on and off, since I was a kid. This will take us through an interesting wetland that was created by Mary French, the wonderful and legendary spouse of the equally wonderful and legendary Val French. Mary passed away a few years ago, but her legacy lives on. There's even a cool bench for her. It's a frozen chipmunk looking at me quite suspiciously. Who are you? Massel chipmunks aren't cute. They're tough as nails. Wouldn't want to get him riled. <laughs> Scurrying ensues. Huh. I wonder what's with that. This would appear to be the... Oh, I think as I recall... The Hammond Trail offers a couple of Bay circuit options, but we'll go with the one that has the confidence plays. That one would appear to be a, an alternate route to take you 
closer to the wetlands, but all the information generally agrees that this is the key one. Up and it's our first comfy bench. The Andover Village Improvement Society, the ultimate custodians of this parcel, love these bench designs. <coughs> They're like a signature. Oh yeah, we're coming into the carousel of color. like to scrape beech trees with their claws to let you know they were there. No, no, we have, this looks to be a new chipmunk condo. Like other ground squirrels in there. Distant cousins, the prairie dog and the marmot slash woodchuck. Chipmunks are ground dwellers. They like cute little holes. Oh yeah, see here's really other route meets the whole thing and the trail here run along an old stone dike to that had a roll of some kind of flood containment. In beyond yon old failed dike I walk, but there lies a new slain knight. Pretty low this time of year. Look at this. Al French mentioned to me that part of Mary's vision was a kind of subtle integration of open spaces with suburban housing tracks. I believe she wanted to remind everybody what was important.
Hammond passes almost imperceptibly over to Mary French, which should be running into Mary's charming bench before too long. Bob DeSell is probably working on boardwalk improvements. Ooh, this old bridge is getting old. <laughs> and you see, one of the ways you can tell this land is in pretty good condition is you have native cat and nine tails in healthy groupings instead of the giant reedy grass looking things you find in cities that are called fragmites. This is Probably some of the old boardwalk that's scheduled for replacement. One of the things the Andover Trails people love to do is create boardwalks that bring you into the heart of a wetland. so that you can really get a sense of it. Yes, we're right on the edge. There is place. Ah. Splendor, I tell you. I don't skimp on the confidence places around here. <laughs> 